After the news hour, I'm most pleased to have done that. Um, a friend of mine at the BBC, who'd become a very close friend, he was um, a senior executive at the BBC, sent me a note saying a friend of mine, a young writer, has sent me this little scribbled note, what about a series on the English language? And it was only about two or three lines. And I called him back immediately and said, I can't imagine why nobody's thought of that before. It'd be just great. It just, it immediately clicked with me because it fitted all my own sort of interests and predilections. And um, eventually, um, we co-produced it with the BBC and a collaboration between the writer who suggested it, Robert McCrum, who was then at Faber and Faber in London, and William Cran, who is the producer, who's done, who still does a lot of things for Frontline and so on, a brilliant producer at taking um, uh, material that is uh, sort of didactic uh, material, often from other sources, and weaving it into a narrative in an attractive way, and shooting a lot of brilliant stuff around the world. Anyway, I used all my spare time for weekends, holidays, everything, for nearly three years uh, doing that all over the world. So much so that I wasn't sailing my boat anymore, and I'm a very keen sailor. My wife and I had done a lot of cruising on the boat. So we sold the boat because it just wasn't, wasn't getting used. And um, the series um, really worked. We started... When we first talked to people, you're doing a series on English language on television? Isn't that going to be very boring? And we kept saying, but you don't know how much fun it is. You don't know all the neat stuff we're finding, how all the funny, living language. Anyway, when it ran, it uh, ran and got fours and fives national ratings on PBS. PBS ended up running it four separate times. It ran, in, it ran all over the world. It ran in Australia by the Australian Broadcasting Commission. The minute the ninth episode ended, they, fin they started the next one and ran it again. And uh, 16 years later, 17, uh, 16 something years later, the, um, the book is still selling, the cassettes are still selling, still get shown here and there, and we've been working for several years on a sequel. Why do you think that's the case? I think people are deeply fascinated by the language. And it was the genius of Robert McCrum to come up with the idea at exactly the right time that it was just beginning to be acknowledged that English was becoming the world language. And that's since proliferated evermore. So, and the series we're preparing now is on American language, because it's the American version of English to the dismay of Prince Charles and others in Britain, which is driving the language around the world. Mm -hmm. But, um, and that series had another effect on me. It loosened me up to start the writing that had been kind of pent up in me for a long time. Uh, you know, I'd set out long ago to be a creative writer. And um, after that series, I did a memoir about my own growing up with language and love of language, and then a series of novels and, and things, um, which I'm still doing, and which I left the news hour in 1985 to pursue.